Proofs Mega 290 Pro's namesake is the Mega Avalanche, the absolutely insane race down Alpe d'Huez in the French Alps. So it's no surprise that the Mega 290 is a bike designed to go down the hill as fast as humanly possible. As the name suggests, it's also a 29er and is one of only a few in the whole of Trail Bike of the Year. In the world of 29ers, 150mm suspension is rather a lot, but it's still quite a well-mannered bike that pedals reasonably well, but obviously its focus is descending. While some may think that 29ers are kind of reserved for cross-country races and those who want to cover a lot of ground really quickly, the Mega 290 is actually an all-out enduro bike. It's designed for going down the hill as fast as possible and hitting those KOMs as much as you can and then still being able to sort of pedal back to the top ready for the next descent. SRAM's components feature heavily across the Mega 290. We've got the Pike up front with 150mm suspension. This is one of our favourite all-mountain enduro forks. It's also got the Monarch Plus Debonair with the extra large air can and the better heat dissipation. Then we've got SRAM's gearing and SRAM guide brakes. So all together it's a really SRAM heavy package. Finishing off the SRAM package is a RockShox Reverb Stealth dropper post with 150mm of drop, so the saddle gets really out of your way. The current iteration of the Nuke Proof brand actually started off with parts and accessories, so it's no surprise then that a lot of the cockpit is actually Nuke Proof's own brand stuff. And this is all really handy kit. You've got nice wide bars, a short stem, comfy saddle and decent grips, so all the components tie in really nicely together. So I'm going to pass over to Guy Kesteven, who's going to tell you a little bit more about how the bike rides. Nukeproof's Mega has been a absolute stalwart of the hardcore hammer bike scene for several years now, which meant that when they refreshed it this year, that was big news for everybody. While the 27.5 bike is probably what a lot of people will go for, just because that's the current favorite wheel size, 29ers are a lot of what people in the industry have been excited about. It's a great looking bike and as ever for Nukeproof, the spec and the value is absolutely on point. It's a little short by contemporary standards, which is why you know it hasn't broken into our top five. We Preferably we would like a bit more length in there and it's a relatively tall bike so you're going to struggle to uh, get a bigger frame size to actually get that stretch in another way. Uh, also, while it was fine in Wales when we weren't hitting big stuff hard, we are finding out in France it's blowing through its travel pretty quickly. The advantage of that is it gets itself low and it's also, because it's a little bit shorter, it's pretty responsive handling for a 29er. That means you can really bury it into the belly of turns and those big Schwalbe tyres will just haul you back out the far side a lot faster than you're probably expecting the first few times. It's a great frame, it ticks all the contemporary boxes for a flat out go fast 29er but you might want to get some volume spaces into the rear shot just to lift it a little higher in its travel and stop it blowing through quite as easily as it does currently. So there's no denying then that the big 29 inch wheels help the Nukeproof Mega 290 roll really fast across a load of trails. There's a little bit of work to be done with the shock tune but to be honest this isn't a particularly difficult thing to do. And once you've done that, what you have is a really sorted package for enduro racing and trail riding on a day-to-day -day basis. We'll be bringing you videos from the top 12 bikes in Trail Bike of the Year, so check out the playlist for links to the rest of them.